Today's project is being done inside the house because it's freezing cold outside. Uh, the inspiration for this project comes from anthropology, and I'm going to show you all a picture of what I'm trying to do. All right, this is a picture of the anthropology vases that I'm going to try to recreate today, and mine are going to look absolutely nothing like this. All of the supplies I have here are from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got the little pom-poms. They were half off to recreate the little knobs that are on there. And then I'm going to use some cheesecloth to give it texture. All of these were half off. This was $2. This was $4.50. I'm going to use, I think this is either milk paint or chalk paint mixed with baking soda to give it that gritty texture. I'm going to be posting updates in my stories on Instagram, Little Cajun House. Y'all come on over and follow. And I'll post a part two later on today. Okay, I went ahead and I cut the cheesecloth into strips and I cut off a whole bunch of pom-poms off of this. Right here, Hobby Lobby. This is the cheesecloth on a roll and that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some paint. I think I'm gonna dip the fabric into the paint and then position it around the vase and then go ahead and maybe dip these in the paint and then put them on as well. We'll see how that goes. So I went ahead and added some paint into my cup and now I'm gonna go ahead and put in some baking soda. You want a fair amount to make it gritty. So that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up. All right, I mixed that up. It has like a little gritty texture. I don't know if y'all can see that right here. I'm gonna go ahead and dip some fabric in it and see how that goes. I'm just gonna drop the fabric in there and use my spoon, try to get it coated. And then I'm going to pull it out and put it on the vase. That looks awesome. But that worked out perfect. It looks really good. Kind of smoothed it onto the vase. And I went on the inside with the excess fabric. You won't see that. I mean, you can cut it off if you want. But I love the texture of this. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the pom-poms. Pom-poms are in the paint. I'm going ahead and I'm going to soak them into the paint and then put them on the vase. Added a few of the pom poms. I'm gonna wait until these dry up a little bit um, before I add more. Looks really cute though. Okay, I kind of blow dried it to where the pom poms are staying on, and now I'm gonna let it sit and bake in the sun for a little while. So we'll come back in about an hour and check on it. All right, the vase is done. Let me show y'all how cute this turned out. How cute is that? This is one I made a few days ago using pearls, and that one turned out really, really cute. But this one right here, oh my gosh, I love it.